Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create an FTP connection with your server so you can access your WordPress files via FTP instead of going into the file manager or by other means. Now it's pretty easy to do uh, once you know how to do it, which is always the case for everything. Everything's easy once you know how. And I'm gonna show you how. And after a couple times, it's gonna be second nature. So I'm in the cPanel account on the right hand side for my website. On the left, I have an FTP client. It's called Transmit by the company named Panic. And it's a Mac, it's a paid for Mac FTP program. Uh, there are a lot of other FTP programs out there. They all need the same information. So they all work basically the same. Just the layout would be a little bit different. So if you find the information we're gonna find right now, and then in your FTP client, find where it goes, and it should be pretty similar, it should be something like add new FTP connection, and then you'll just fill out those fields with the info that we find, and then you should be logging in no problem. And in our cPanel, on the right hand side of the screen, I'm gonna click on FTP accounts, and you should have something similar in your cPanel account, and then we basically create the information that we want for users to sign in. So for the login, I'm just gonna create something very simple for the purpose of this video. I recommend you do something a little more complicated for your credentials and then don't share them with anybody because these will give direct access to your server, which is a pretty powerful place for a hacker or someone who wants to do you damage. It's a pretty powerful place for them to be. So I'm just gonna put in here WP PhD. It's for a demo site, this is the domain. I'm gonna generate a password That'll be it right there. You're just using LastPass to generate a password. You can also use the password generator button. You should have one. Uh, this cPanel definitely does, but most of them do. And then it creates a directory for us. And this is the directory that it creates. This is not actually a directory on the website. It's gonna create this. So what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the path that we have set here is the path to your actual WordPress files, which in my case is home, then the username, then public underscore HTML forward slash. When you create an FTP user account like this, it will usually create a separate folder for that user because it's assuming you're gonna give this out to people where they can upload and download stuff to their own folder. But what we're using it for, we actually want to have access to the WordPress files. So you have to make sure that this directory goes to the files of your WordPress site. Now, if you're not sure where this is, what you can do is go back to your main cPanel area and then click on File Manager. In the File Manager, you will see on the right-hand side, we have home forward slash WPPHD, which is the username. Going back to the FTP account, that is right here and it can't be edited. So that's hard coded right in there. So then we need to find the folder where our website exists. So if we go into public HTML, this is where all my WordPress files are for this demo site. Yours may be in a different folder, maybe in another subfolder here, but you wanna find the folder where those files exist and you wanna write the path to those folders here. And then you can add a quota if you want. I usually don't uh, because I'm the only one using it. And what if I have to upload a big file? So I usually don't add a quota for my own accounts. And then once that's all done, I just click on create FTP account. And as you can see, there's an error because this user already exists. So I'm just gonna change this username. I'm just gonna put Bjorn in there. And delete this again, it auto added that new path again. Then click on create FTP account. The account has been created. So now we can input that data into our FTP client. Most cPanels will have something where you can configure FTP clients. So if you click on here, it gives you information you need. You can actually download a configuration file for these clients from this, this uh, cPanel, the InMotion cPanel. So all you do is you download these files and run these instructions. They'll likely say just open these files in the FTP client and it will set it all up for you, which is great. Uh, but life isn't always that easy. So I'm gonna show you how to use this information and put that right into your FTP client manually. So I have my password still on my clipboard. It's gonna paste it into the password field. And my username uh, from this list right here is Bjorn at WPPHD 
ftp.wphd.com. The server is ftp.wphd.com. The port is almost always 21. And then this should be enough to connect us. So we're gonna, I'm gonna click on connect. And there we have it. We are connected via FTP. I'm gonna move this FTP client over. In most FTP clients, on the left-hand side is your desktop or your hard drive. On the right-hand side is the server. So you can upload files and download files and go back and forth all day long. And that's all there is to it. Um, make sure you treat your FTP with respect because if you go ahead and delete this file right here or this file or this folder or this thing over here, even if you do it by accident, it's gonna cause major problems on your site. So this is a, not, not a holy area, but it's, it's, a, it's an area that needs to be treated with respect and make sure you don't accidentally mess things up. And the best thing to do is keep regular backups of your site. So if something goes wrong in here, you can just pop in the backup of those files and everything's back to normal. So that is how we set up an FTP manually to access your WordPress site's server. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com for more tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.